Hello, my name is Rick Stack. Welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of slow, focused practice. Uh, I think one of the biggest hindrances to getting better faster, um, and I don't mean faster playing, <laughs> although it can be faster playing too, uh, just getting better in general is to do a couple things um, of which we'll talk about now. So. The main thing is to play really slow at first, very deliberately, um, very focused, and then a lot of repetitions. Um, I think a lot of people just will, you know, practice a lick and like they'll work on something, play it three or four times and then move on to the next thing. Um, I always kind of kid with my students, it's like if you were to uh, want to work on uh, uh, throwing free throws, you know, in, in basketball. You wouldn't go into the court, do, you know, three or four and then walk out and leave. Um, you do like 50 or 100 or 300 or 1,000. Uh, so repetition, of course, is, is huge. And a lot of people know that, but I'm surprised how many people don't know it or don't really, really uh, utilize it. Um, so today uh, I'm going to show you a lick also, and I'm going to kind of give you a, a assignment if you want to uh, accept the challenge. <laughs> Um, of a certain amount to play per day, a certain amount of times, and then I think you'll see some awesome results, and then, uh, and then hopefully you'll, you'll stick with this idea. So the lick we're going to do... I think is a cool lick, and uh, it's... it's uh, I would say it's almost more of an intermediate advanced lick. You could be playing it for years, and I think you'd actually maybe enjoy this lick. But if you slow it down as a beginner, I think you can you can totally do it. So let me show you the lick first, and then we'll get to the, uh, the key points about how to practice, how long to practice, how many repetitions, how many days a week, and uh, all that. So we're gonna start out here on the eighth fret of the high E string, and with your middle finger, and you're gonna do a pull off to the seventh fret on high E. So even if you're a beginner or, or you know, on the beginning side, uh, you can do that, pull off. Then you're gonna to go to the eighth fret on the B string. So as far as even talking about repetition and practice right there, you could just do that, let's say 10 times, just. times, 20 times, whatever you want. <laughs> so you do that, then you're gonna go to the seventh fret on the G string, doing all down strokes here so far. So again, you can practice that. We're gonna slide from the seventh fret on the G all the way down to four here. If you haven't done many slides before, that might be a little bit unusual, but it's not too hard. Just uh, keep, uh, when, you, when you slide, the number one thing is keep your finger pressure on the string, like pressing against the fretboard <laughs> the entire time. So if you were to let up, you know, it doesn't really work. So. so, so far you get this. Then you're gonna go to the fifth fret on the D string with your second finger. Now this is the one kind of funky move. Uh, I do this a lot, uh, but uh, it's a little, maybe a little unusual. <laughs> so you're gonna go to the fifth fret on the A string, but use your first finger here. So you kind of cross over, and then it kind of kicks out this finger out of the way. <laughs> so you hit the fifth fret on the A string, slide down to two, and then hit the low G note here, third fret. So that last portion, uh, let's go from the slide 7 to 4 here, and then cross over 5th fret on the A string. Uh, that's a nice little piece to work on because it's actually the same thing twice pretty much. You have the same, same notes. Uh, you have a D, 
D, B, G, D, B, G. <laughs> so. Uh, so, now let's get to, uh, I think, the important thing, uh, the, the whole intention for this, this lesson here. Um, so, the first thing is, I think, is you want to practice really slow. Uh, if people, if, I'll say my students and myself included over the years, if any of us uh, practice too fast, you kind of, you know, just hack through it, uh, something you can't do, let's say you can't do it, and you're getting like weird sounds and you're getting a rough sound and uh, your timing is off and your tone isn't good. And so yeah, the whole idea is just slow way down, super slow. Uh, I heard a quote once, uh, so slow that if somebody walked in the room, you'd be embarrassed. <laughs> so, um, so you might go like just and then the whole idea is if you're playing slow for one you can just relax just enjoy playing music enjoy playing guitar um okay, kind of a side note here a little bit deeper conversation i'm, I'm definitely not a psychologist but i think that uh guitar players musicians different forms of artists different anything in life uh, our ego sometimes gets in the way and we just want to be really good and the ir irony i think in my opinion is that if you just slow down and really enjoy what you're doing and keep practicing uh, and keep practicing in a way that i'm going to uh, expand on here uh, you will get good and then there you go goal goal achieved but at least you did it for more of a in my opinion uh, i just try to play as much as possible where i'm just really enjoying playing the guitar the, you know, the more I play guitar and enjoy it, the more I want to get better and, and have fun. And I, you know, it's just, uh, that's, I think, the idea. I think Steve Vai said once that he never worked a day in his life as far as playing guitar because he just always enjoyed it. Something like that. Doesn't mean you don't put hard work in. I think he, you know, if you look up that quote, he clarifies it's, he put in hard work. It's just that it was, uh, it's always a joy, you know. So the same thing here. Um, and it might even sound silly to some people, but just like really enjoy the sound of the notes coming out of your guitar. Just listen and enjoy it. You know, you're not uh, not pulling out weeds in a garden or, <laughs> or whatever, whatever you don't like to do. You're playing guitar. So you're going. And you might practice that. portion you might practice that five ten fifteen how many ever times um now here's something to think about so i timed myself before i did this and played about this speed to see how many times uh, i would play it in a minute of course if i was doing it now because i've played this like for years i could play it fast you know uh, but the idea is that if you're more of a beginner or you're just learning it or maybe you've been playing it for a week and you want to keep working on it um at about this speed it was about 10 times in a minute uh, that I did it. So um, so here's the kind of uh, goal to shoot for, just to kind of, not only to learn this lick if you like the lick, uh, but just kind of to, uh, it's like an experiment uh, with your practicing uh, that I, you know, I, I, don't, I can't make guarantees, but I almost can guarantee that uh, that if you do this, you will get better in the next week, two weeks, and you'll see such good improvements that you'll go, oh wow, that's a good way to practice. Um, at least some of the time. I mean, there's different ways to practice. You don't have to always do it this way. So here's the idea. Um, practice for five minutes a day, every day, at about whatever speed you can do. So even if it's slower than that, of course, when you first learn it, uh, depending what your level is, you might go, So maybe you only get you know six times out of uh, each um, minute, and then you could do it 30 times. So, but if you did 10 a minute, that would be 50, 50 times a day. <laughs> and you can right away see, I think, the uh, distinction between this kind of practicing and if you did it three or four times and then just moved on to the next thing, you know? So um, yeah, repetition is huge, huge, huge. Uh, over and over and over again. If it drives you crazy, if you're getting bored or you don't like it or it's hurting your hand, for sure, especially if you're hurting your hand, stop. You know, don't, don't want you to hurt yourself. Um, 
but uh, if, if you're enjoying it and you like the idea of this, uh, this idea, um, see, if you, see if you can stick with it, see if you can go for, for five minutes straight. Um, and then, so the idea of the focus practice, to get back to that, uh, sounds funny again or kind of silly to some people, but really try to focus on just doing this, meaning don't, don't think what you're going to watch on Netflix tonight or what you're going to eat for dinner, like just focus on the notes. I think there's something uh, going on, it's like the myelin in our brain or whatever that's forming these, you know, this uh, muscle memory connections. And uh, believe me, I'm not, a, not an authority on the, on the neuroscience <laughs> front. Um, but I can tell you when I've experimented with myself, yeah, like really focused practice does yield better results, at least for me. So yeah, just, just concentrate on this for five minutes. Um, that's the focus thing for, uh, for in the moment. And then the focus thing on a daily or weekly basis is the idea is if you can practice uh, every day of the week, that's gonna definitely stack up and give you uh, great results. Um, I've unfortunately had too many students, uh, I keep working on it, try to get them to practice every day if they have the time. But uh, where they practice like, you know, maybe like, you know, 20 minutes one day, skip two or three days and do an hour around the weekends. And then, you know, and really if you can do like 20 or 30 minutes every single day, you know, more is great. If you can do an hour a day, that's fantastic. But um, yeah, just focused 20, 30 minutes a day, you'll really see some uh, excellent results if you're not doing it that, that way already. So, so the idea of the focus uh, is focus in the moment when you're practicing and then have focused practice throughout the week, like really intentional practice throughout the week. So if you go slow, so there's like three main things. If you go slow, really focus, and then repetitions, you know, 30 times, 40 times, 50 times, uh, you should see really good results. Um, I'd love it if, if uh, some of you watching this uh, try it for a week or two or a month and then just let me know how it goes. And then apply it to other things that you do too, just see how it goes. Um, and it really depends again too, like if you're just working on some simple rock riff and it's not that hard, uh, you don't think you have to, if you're doing like a ACDC, what's that up? <laughs> like you might not want to do that a hundred times in a row. <laughs> so I think you get the idea, so. Hope this helps. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, that would be fantastic if you could. If you could. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.